All right, in this video, we're going to see how to do the first practice problem for the applications E9 using Excel or spreadsheet software. And I'm using the confidence interval, uh, the confidence interval for the main worksheet. If you go into the Experience 9 main page, it is right after the confidence interval calculator is the model confidence interval spreadsheet. So that's what I have opened up over here. And uh, you know there's tabs at the bottom here depending on whether you're doing a T interval, a Z interval, or calculating sample size. So that's the first thing you need to decide is what this question is asking. Obviously it's asking for a confidence interval. Since there's no information about the population standard deviation, we would need to use the T distribution and so get a T interval. So you want that first tab. Uh, there's a place for putting sample data right here, so we're going to type that data in. And you can probably copy and paste this, I didn't think about that. Should be set up to copy and paste, but it's not that long of a data set. Oh, maybe not. And so you will need to type that in unless you figure out how to do that. Make sure to delete any extra numbers because otherwise those are going to be used in the calculation. Double check that we have the numbers right and there's the right number of them. We have nine numbers, right? The count is nine, and this is nine small towns, okay? And so the given sample data, you want to look right at row 18 and below. Just ignore the other numbers. And uh, see it is calculating it right. The sample mean looks right. The sample size looks right. Standard deviation looks right. Remember these orange shaded cells are ones you would change, and the confidence level is given to be 99%, so we'll put in 0.99. and the confidence interval is given at the bottom. So we 96, and it says to two decimal places. So rounded to two decimal places, it's 96.69, comma, 90, all right. So if you round this to two decimal places, it's actually 99.00 because that 7 makes that 9 round up to a 10, which makes that 9 go to a 10, which makes that 8 go to a 9. So 99, 0, 0. And let's hit submit. All right. So we got that right. And uh, that's all there is to that problem.